Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova again, and today we're looking at the Thermoscientific PDR1500. Uh, this is a particulate monitor, a very small compact unit for portability. And if we look at the front of it, you can see they use the power button and a few function keys, escape, up, down arrows, and the enter button here as well. Uh, looking at the side of this unit, we have the USB port because there is a, uh, there's a USB cable that we can put it, attached to it. And there's another communications port here, and they give you a, another multi-pin cable right there to fit that jack right there. Uh, looking over to the side, there is the sample input. Now this has the, uh, the black input on here, the black, uh, the black sensor. And this is a total particulate sensor here. It just simply pops off, so you have to pull it out. Like that, it's just an O-ring that uh, seals it right here on the inside of this this entrance here, and it's the uh, the total. So it lets there's no there's no particulate cut on this thing. It's uh, it's a this lets in all the particulate for total particulate measurement. So there's this sensor input, or sample input, and then there's uh, another cyclone here, the red one and the blue one, and these depend on whether you're measuring. PM1 to PM4 or, or higher up to PM, PM10. So depending on which cyclone you want to measure which cut. Uh, for example, you can put the red one in. You just simply slide it in place where the, uh, the total particulate came out. And then now you're measuring a smaller cut of particulate like PM1 to PM4 or all the way up to uh, PM4 up to PM10. So, so that's all that is. That's just simply the where you put in the sample cycle right there. So there's a red one, the black one for total, and then a blue one here as well. Looking around the back of the unit, we have a power input. Uh, you can come with a power adapter right here for a DC power input. Uh, this unit also will run on batteries. It could take four AA batteries. Um, if you don't have the, uh, the power adapter or don't want to use the power adapter, you can just simply have it run on batteries. Uh, there's a belt clip to carry this unit around. And coming around the other side of this unit, this is the, uh, the exhaust, it's the vent out for the sample pump. And on the side it has this big round black module which is inside of here is an option to collect a sample onto a particulate filter right there. For lab analysis, so you can simply, uh, this is much like they do with the Partisol samplers. It has a particulate filter right there, paper filter that particulate will collect on and they'll send it away for lab analysis. So it's, uh, it does two things. You can have it collecting sample onto this paper filter through the side here, or it can be measuring with the data logger um, with the light scattering sensor inside of this unit, measuring real time particulate. So you have two options of collecting particulate with this unit. Well, and this is a view just simply from the top. That's where the cyclone will sit. You can put the total sample inlet back inside. Side view. And all this is here, this is just simply a support to hold the cyclone, hold the cyclone in place. When you're actually running it. So it just a little slides in, holds it in place, holds it securely. And this is the total, total particulate sample inlet connected to the PDR-1500. Looking at the front of this unit, to power it on is to simply hold the power button. Let go, it'll boot up. Thermal Scientific PDR-1500 has uh, version 1.33. And the main menu sits at Operate. Uh, to start this unit, you simply press enter. It'll say start a run. And it shows concentration and TD, TWA, time weighted average. So it gives you two, two output readings here. And you can see it's reading 5.3 micrograms per cubic meter on the output, so on the concentration, the real time. 
Um, so it's a great unit for portability to walk around uh, indoors or outdoors. And it has uh, data logging ability. And uh, it comes with software that you can load onto your laptop and uh, download the data into a spreadsheet and do like a real-time data graphing plot of the uh, micrograms per cubic meter in concentration or time weighted average. Uh, one other thing they give you is just a simple basic uh, if you're zeroing the instrument you're going through the menu you're just doing a zero you can connect this to the, uh, the sample input just to do a particulate zero reading. If you want to escape the sample to simply hit escape you'll say stop run press enter and we're back to operate so we can scroll through the menu a little bit this is the operate menu if I go down we have a configure menu we'll look in here you can uh, display the averaging time here's the time right there go back configure go down there's the calibrate function. Uh, I can have a temperature offset. And back to operate again. So operate, configure, and calibrate. And then back to operate. So we look at calibrate. Temperature offset. Pressure offset. So you can have a milligram, millimeters per mercury pressure offset. Relative humidity offset, right here it's reading 43%. Uh, flow rate cal, you can do, if you have a flow meter, you can do a calibration on the flow rate of this unit. Uh, cal factor of one. And back to temperature offset again. And escape out of here. If we go back and we look at the configure, there's the uh, time and date. Display time, display average time, 10 seconds. Here's the uh, flow rate, liters per minute. Logging enabled. Logging enabled factory defaults. Logging enabled 14. Uh, inlet type. So I have the, uh, the total inlet. That was the black one that you saw. So if you change it to uh, different total inlets, So there's the red cyclone right here. So if you change the cyclone, you have to tell it which one you're putting on there. Here's the blue cyclone. So you just when you do when you are changing the cyclones, you have to go in the software and let it know that you're changing it. So if the total is right, enter. Relative humidity correction disabled. You can, have, you can have an alarm feature on here as well, disabled, instant alarm, short term event level alarm, and disabled again, so we'll leave it disabled. Units microgram per cubic meter, and liters per millimeter, micrograms per cubic meter. Analog output disabled. So you can have the analog output enabled on this unit. Analog output 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 1. So escape out of that. Leave it disabled. LCD backlight enabled so you can see it on uh, shiny day, sunny days. Contrast, you can adjust the LCD contrast on this unit as well. And back to configure. So that's the PDR 1500. That's the operate screen. We we'll press enter. We'll start a run. It will give you readings in the concentration and the time weighted average. And it starts up reading right away. Very fast response on this unit. And it's just simply uh, has a battery pack. There's a plate that goes across the bottom of this unit, which will close up so you can uh, seal the battery compartment. there and you can just have it uh, carried on a belt clip right here as you're walking around and you can actually look down at the unit and see what the readings are at on the front of it right here and pushing pushing the up or down lights up the back display so you can see it quite easily so that's the thermal scientific p3500
PDR-1500 particulate monitor. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you.